I am going to show you how to use Clipchamp the free video editor. After you sign in to the app, open it and go to create new video. First on your media tab, this is where you put your footage videos, photos and sounds. Just drag your video to the show area. The second tab record and create. Here you can make a screen and camera if you want to make a tutorial with face cam. Second is camera only. Third is only screen recorder. Fourth is text to speech tool which I made another video about you can see it on the channel. The third tab is templates. You will find a lot of templates for different categories. All are pre-made and specific for the topic you want. You can preview them and just drag to your timeline. The adjust on it. Also for the other tabs are a lot of pre-made stuff you can preview them by yourself. At the bottom you can see the transitions which you can easily between your clip. Now I will add my video to the timeline and let's start with cut. Go to the time where you want to cut and click on the split icon or you can just hit S on your keyboard. Then after you cut the area you want to remove select it and hit delete. You can also join the remaining clips to one group if you want by selecting them and right click then group. Now to edit the clip select it and on top left you start with transform here you can flip and rotate the clip and change the opacity. Not so much to do in this tool. Now on filters select the filter you want and it will be applied to your clip. After you add an effect you will see new tab for effect settings. You can adjust the properties of the filter from it. After that adjust color tab. Here you can make the color correction process and change it as you like for your video. Now fade. Here you can add fade out and fade into the clip selected. Hi. You can also change the duration of the fade as you like. On the, the right the speed tab where you can make the clip slower or faster and by which percentage. The last one is the audio and here you can adjust the audio level. After you finish click on export and select the quality you want. It will start export and you can change the file name from here. The video will be saved in your download file in documents. So that was today's video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.